Welcome to Marriage and Life Stories with Kansi Me. Uh, I come to you once again with a, an interesting topic. To you who are returning, thank you so much. To the new uh, visitors, thank you so much for choosing this channel as your source of uh, information. And if you like the videos that you have been watching, and if you like this one, I, I, I will ask you to kindly remember to subscribe and to like and let us continue enjoying the videos today we are looking at uh, four texts four text messages that will break one relationship and start a brand new one now i'm talking to you the married ladies the married gentlemen the single ladies out there you are into this relationship you know uh, and you're feeling so good about yourself maybe you're feeling too good gentlemen you're feeling too good and you feel you have conquered this lady and you feel those text messages you used to send her and they shouldn't be sent again lady you're so eh? you're so there feeling yourself and you feel you have reached you have arrived you are there and things are working out for you let me tell you what is going to happen to you number one the simple texts that finish one relationship and start another one the simple text messages that will kill your relationship and bring in another man and bring in another woman in the relationship number one they start without you know before I start number one those, those messages just come so innocent they look <clears throat> they look so innocent and so harmless as they come to the phone and then before you know it emotionally you have lost your spouse you have lost that person that you love so much that you have refused to give uh, to give time. Text number one. I was just checking on you. Yes, I was just checking on you. Now, such a text when it comes to a lady, she will say, wow, that's so sweet. And that's how she's going to, re to respond. And if it is a gentleman, he will say, Oh, that's so caring. This lady is really so caring. And before you know it, boom, you have lost the person emotionally. The person is going to connect to someone on the phone and they'll be talking and talking and enjoying each other. And when you are finished emotionally, there's nothing left for you. Text number two. Have you eaten? Those are ladies asking the men. Have you eaten? Have you gone for lunch? What did you eat? And after asking that, the man will know the lady cares and he'll be looking forward always to the text messages that come from that lady. Now do the men ask, can I take you out for lunch? And when such a text comes and you the husband has not done anything to make sure that this lady eats I'm sorry for you. Text number three. The first one is, I was just checking on you. Number two, have you eaten? Text number three. I saw you at the function and you looked amazing. Wow. Now, you have worked with your lady. You have worked with your gentleman. This person was smartly dressed. They put all the energy to dress so smartly for the function and guess what you walked in together you never mentioned to this person how smart they are you never complimented her shoes you never talked about how great he looked in that suit and uh, someone texts the message you look amazing and then you will see your colleague your spouse your friend bending down on the phone and smiling and enjoying herself and excusing herself to go to the bathroom. Of course, someone has confused her mind with a text message. You look amazing. And that word has really sunk into her mind. Text number four. Did I mention I was going to do four? Let me do, let me see how many I'm going to do. Text number Okay, that number that I was supposed to do. He sends that text message and says, Thank you for the gift you got me. It may be a small handkerchief, it may be a pen, it might be a flower, it might be something. 
and the other person maybe gave it innocently they were giving books out in the office and then said this is very special for you and then this person said thank you for the gift that you gave me now let me tell you if you appreciate that person with that text message they want to give you and give you and give you and give you more gifts and so learn to say thank you when it comes in a text from the wrong person it will break your own marriage create a new relationship the next text it was great meeting you it was great spending time with you but when such text come it will create that desire in the person to go and meet this person again and so if this is your loved one you have come together from a function and you have dropped her home tell her it was great spending time with you you know it's not a must that she's your wife she must come no it's not a guarantee so when she chooses to come please appreciate her don't take her there leave her for some other people who will send her a text message appreciating her and my dear ladies when you are with your husband enjoy his company don't leave him to go talking to other people and when he gets home this lady is saying oh it was nice meeting you in a text message those text messages will finish your relationship and they will start up a whole new relationship with another person it may not be physical but it can be an emotional relationship and these days it is emotional relationship that are killing the marriages that are killing the breaking up fiancés and all these other people because the moment someone is committed to another one emotionally everything that you do you'll be wasting your time because this person will not have any space for you in their lives first relationship commit emotionally once they commit emotionally then they come in the physical everything else that is going to happen in that relationship in the romantic relationship it comes from the mind first the moment the mind has accepted then the body will allow so if you are joking around with a phone you see this phone you joke around with it it will break your relationship and it will build for another personal relationship so let us use this phone very well if you're a husband and you're not using this to court your wife I'm sorry for you. You'll only regret when there is no more time to mend this relationship. And if you're a wife, you're not using this this phone for to build your relationship. Your man gives you money, puts airtime for you, and then you don't even send him one message. You keep telling him there's no airtime. Who takes your airtime? Who takes it? And so use your phone to build your relationship and when it is strong and happy and you're enjoying yourself we'll all be winners thank you so much for watching and if you like this video kindly subscribe kindly like and let's grow together god bless you thank you so much